And today we're talking about some Spigen accessories for the Tesla Model 3 and the Model Y. Spigen is more well known for their phone accessories rather than their car accessories. And I know Spigen normally makes good quality stuff. I was really, really excited and I had to get these and try them out. If you like an accessory that I talk about in this video today, consider buying it through my Amazon affiliate links down in the description below as it does help support the channel. So with all that being said, let's get right into today's video. So the first accessory I have is this little handy dash mount. This is one of the better dash mounts that I have tested in the past. It's mounted on the left side of the dash for the driver's side. It's in a really convenient spot for you to interact with your phone if you need to. What I like about it is that it is completely adjustable on the base to go up or down at all kinds of different angles. And also you're able to rotate the base of where your phone attaches so you can shift your phone to all kinds of different viewing angles depending on your need. And for all the Android users out there, fear not because I actually did a video about how to make your non-MagSafe Android accessory actually MagSafe compatible. I will leave a link to that video down in the description below. It is part of my Google Pixel 7 Pro phone case video. I actually still have the Pixel 7 Pro and I have the mouse limitless case on this one still. One of the better cases that I've tested and this actually does make my phone MagSafe, which is pretty cool. Because the arm is so adjustable, it also makes it easy to switch your phone from portrait to landscape mode on the fly. This is a solid choice if you're in the market for a phone mount for your dash and you don't want to use the one that attaches to the screen. Next up I have is this accessory called the Spine One Tap Pro. And that's a pretty weird name to be honest. But this is basically just a fancy name for a cup holder mount. I wouldn't say this is really Tesla specific because as long as your car has a cup holder, you can actually use this mount. Now Spigen is able to achieve that by making the base of the cup holder extendable. These little arms come out when you twist the base of the cup holder and you're actually able to customize it to the fit of your car's cup holder. Now it's not a secret that Tesla makes some pretty weird fitting cup holders by default. A lot of your regular cans and water bottle drinks don't fit and they'll fly around during driving. And for that, I previously also talked about a silicone insert where you can put into your cup holder that actually makes it fit all of those, you know, your standard cans of soda or standard size water bottles so that you can rest assured when you're driving, none of your drinks are gonna fly out and whatnot. It also doubles as a form of protection to keep your cup holders clean because all the spills, it's gonna spill into the silicone cup holder and you can just use some soap and water to just clean it out. I'll throw a link for my accessories video down in the description below so you guys can check that out that I'm also gonna be needing to update soon because I found a lot more cool stuff. This cup holder mount is handy in that it comes with MagSafe wireless charging built in that will charge your device at 7.5 watt wireless charging speeds. It provides great viewing angles for any occasion, whether you're just chilling in your car while your significant other is hogging the Tesla screen or whether you're using it as a mount for your GPS. I know there are better areas to mount your phone for GPS, but I actually found the viewing angles of this mount to be actually really comfortable for me. It feels like you're just holding the phone in your hand and you're just viewing it like you normally would. So it feels super natural, but while you're driving, it's like right in your face. You can look at it with just a simple turn of your head or even your eye and it's really, really convenient. It just works. It's not too far like other dash mounts or any screen mounts. It's right in your face, right here. Probably isn't a necessity for a car, but I think there's definitely specific case uses that you can utilize this product. And I actually really liked it. When I don't use it, I normally just stow it away in my trunk or in the trunk, and I can pull it out when we're going on long road trips maybe, or when I'm doing something specific that might warrant the need for that type of phone mount. Now Spigen also makes council trays now, which is awesome. I was actually super excited to try out this product because I need to find a permanent recommendation for people on council trays, and I thought this would be it. However, although the build quality and the look of the tray was great, it left much to be desired in terms of the depth. 
What And what I mean by this is that if I put the same items in the tray, one will fit everything and allow me to actually close the council. One will actually fit all my items and actually allow me to close that storage area. Personally, I don't keep much stuff in the second compartment, I like to call it, the one under the storage tray. I rarely find myself going down there for any stuff. So I like to get as much space as I can on that top shelf so I can stick all of it in there. Therefore, I always want the most space that I can get in the top shelf. I found that I was not able to fit as much stuff as I could with some other organizers out there. So that was a little bit of a deal breaker for me personally. If you don't have too many items though on the top shelf of the center council, then this is actually a great council tray that deserves a look. In terms of build quality, in terms of design, Spigen knocked it out of the park with this. I love the silicone inside of the tray to make it easily cleanable. I also like how easy it is to slide. And I think it just looks like quality versus some of the other no-name brands out there. It has Spigen's little signature carbon fiber trim on it too which I really like. It doesn't hold as much stuff and it will interfere with me trying to close my box. It was a little bit of a deal breaker for me, but if that is not, I would highly, highly recommend this Council Tree Organizer. It is great. And who knows, maybe I'll decide to keep it, just utilize the bottom space or the armrest space so that I can put a little bit less stuff inside that area. Speaking of the armrest area, the next accessory that I want to talk about is highly recommended from me. This is the Spigen One Touch Hidden Storage Box. Now this thing is actually amazing. I have long been searching, just like for that center council tray thing, for a hidden storage box accessory, and all the boxes I've used thus far have left more to be desired to say the least. I haven't found the perfect one yet until this one. It checks all the boxes for me in terms of practicality, ease of use, design, and quality. Long have I wished for a box that I could just tap to open and tap to close. Now, this is the easiest one that I've used thus far, and it also looks great. It has Spigen's signature carbon fiber trim on it with some light branding. This has definitely earned a permanent spot in my car for the time being. I like the click it open, click it close concept of the box. It's so simple yet effective. It simply just clicked with me. Get it? Okay, that was kind of late. But no, seriously though, this is highly recommended. It's one of the better accessories that I've tested out in recent months. Now the fifth and last accessory that I have is the Spigen Hydro Hub adjustable cup holder. Now this cup holder is for the more outdoorsy types or hardcore Starbucks people out there. And again, this is not a Tesla specific accessory. You can use this in any other car as well because of the fact that Spigen has this really well designed product where you can just spin the base and adjust the circumference of the base so that you can customize it to the fit of your vehicle. This accessory allows you to carry around a bigger tumbler or even a mug in your very awkward Tesla cup holders. It'll allow you to put a larger tumbler from 8 to 40 ounces in the base cup holder and another drink up to 16 ounces for the one that actually folds out. And for all the Starbucks goers out there, rest assured you can comfortably fit a tall grande venti sized beverage of your choice in here. Now this is useful as when it's not needed, it simply folds up and it just looks like your regular cup holder. But when you need it, you can simply just fold out the extender and boom, suddenly you have three cup holders, you have a cup holder inside of a cup holder that actually branches out and it does another cup holder making you have three cup holders. It's cup holder crazy, it's cup holder on steroids, it's a cup holder exception. And if you are a big coffee drinker or if you drink lots of water and you have to keep your tumbler around a lot for your daily activities or whatever it is, this might be worth the investment. And during my time of using and testing it, the folding part of the cup holder is actually really adjustable. You can adjust that cup holder 360 degrees so it doesn't interfere with your steering wheel handling and also doesn't affect your viewing angles for the screen. And that's it for the video guys. I'm sorry I haven't posted in a while. I am really backed up on videos. I have so much footage and I have so little time throughout the day, throughout the weeks to edit and record. Consider subscribing to my channel if you guys like the video. And again, if you guys like some of the accessories in the video, please buy them through my Amazon links. These videos take a lot of effort to make. For full disclosure purposes, this video is not sponsored. I bought all this stuff with my own money so I can give you guys the most unbiased opinion. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving and I hope you have a great day. This is David here signing off. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.